Today we are going to discuss the Davenport Coat of Arms. But before we get started, we wanted to let you know that we offer genealogy research service at our website. Please visit us at coadb.com. First coat of arms to discuss is blazoned Argent, a chevron between three cross crosslets bitchy sable, crest a man's head, cooped proper, round the neck, a rope or. This belonged to numerous branches of the family, particularly in Cheshire. I have all the information listed on the screen. I'm not going to read it all. But it belonged to the Davenports of Davenport and Cheshire who descended from Richard de Davenport, alive in the year 1165, son of a man named Ormus. Also belonged to the Davenports of Brom Hall, uh, Sir William Davenport, who died in 1640, was one of the members seen here. Also the Davenports of Woodford and Capesthorne, and the Davenports of Henbury, the Davenports of Weltroff, the Davenports of Blackhurst, the Davenports of Welford, which was James Davenport, vicar of Welford, son of Charles, who was rector there, and a graduate of Oxford University. And one author notes that it belonged to the Davenports of Denbigh in Wales, which I wasn't able to find. But there was an Anthony Davenport and Christopher Davenport who lived in the 17th century, who were captains in the Earl of Denbigh's regiments. And here we see Capisthorne Hall and Brom Hall. Very similar coat of arms, the Crescent for Difference for Davenport of Chorley in Cheshire. Thomas Davenport had son Robert, who had son William who had son Henry, who had son William Davenport, who was both of Chorley and later of Hallen, and also the Davenports of Davenport House in Warfield, Shropshire. There was Henry Davenport, seen here, born 1677, who joined the East India Company and constructed a house at Warfield. He was the son of Henry Davenport, born 1644, and the brother of Major General Sherrington Davenport. Here we see Davenport House. Same arms and crests, the Chevron Ermines this time for Davenport of Foxley in Herefordshire, confirmed to the family of that name who settled in North Staffordshire in the 1400s. He was born by one Reverend George Horatius Davenport, born 1832, the son of John Davenport who acquired Foxley Manor in 1856. Here we see Foxley. This one has a Canton Ghouls for difference for Davenport of Salford in Lancashire. Edward Davenport, born 1626. Son of John Davenport of Didgebury, who was son of Sir William Davenport of Bromhall, Cheshire, who died in 1644. Next, a coat of arms and crest for Richard Davenport, Esquire of Darnwell Bank, granted or confirmed in 1823. Davenport of London. There was William Davenport and his brother, Edmund Davenport, both alive in the year 1634. Uh, the former was a haberdasher and the latter was a grocer. They were sons of William Davenport of Hinckley and Leicestershire, who was son of Miles Davenport of Hanbury in Cheshire and of Houghton in Northampton. William Davenport from a book dated on the year 1490. Coat of arms crest grants in 1582 to John Damport, Dampit, or Davenport, Esquire of Lovington in Somerset, son of John, son of John, son of John Davenport of Bromhall. And lastly, there was a Davenport of Balhay. John Davenport of Balhay in Leek, Staffordshire, was granted coat of arms in 1776, and he descended from Henry Davenport, who was granted Balhay in 1565, ultimately descendants of Randolph Davenport. And here we see Balhay. And if you enjoyed this video, please visit us at coadb.com, link in the description. Thank you very much.